Hello, good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another mathematics presentation. So right here with me, I've got this presentation that is coming from mathematics paper 2, specifically under the topic linear programming. So we know that linear programming basically comes in mathematics paper 1 and paper 2. So I've been posting videos based on the linear programming mathematics paper 1. So I want us to cover uh, linear programming that comes in mathematics paper 2. So in mathematics paper 2 for linear programming, they first give you the information like this. Then they'll ask you to formulate the inequalities. Okay. So in order for you to formulate those inequalities, there are certain words and inequality symbols that you must be familiar with. That's when you are going to be able to uh, formulate those mathematical models. So let us look at the words first. Alright, so uh, these are the mathematical symbols and words that you must be familiar with. So you must understand when we look at a mathematical model. So a mathematical model is a system of equations or inequalities which are formed, okay, which are formed from the conditions in a problem. So like uh, the first example that I've shown you, or when you look at mathematics paper 2, in your programming questions, they first give you um, questions in statement form. Then in those uh, statements, there will be conditions that you need to follow in order for you to create the inequalities or the mathematical model. So you need to pay attention to words such as less than. So this word less than can go with the uh, this symbol right here, which is the less than. Okay? Then, not less than. It can go with a symbol greater than or equal to. That's the symbol for not less than. Alright, so under not less than, we are saying it should not be uh, less than the actual value that we have been given, but it should be more than that. Okay? Or equal to itself. So, we also have uh, greater than or more than so greater than, just the symbol greater than, not greater than or not more than, just the symbol which is less than or equal to. Now, under not greater than, here we are saying we should not go beyond what we have, but it should be less than uh, to that value or equal to the same value. Okay, then at least we have greater than or equal to, at most we have less than or equal to, then we have maximum so maximum simply means should be less than or equal to so under maximum we are looking at not going beyond the given value but it should be less than to the same value or going down okay then minima so under minima we use this symbol which is greater than or equal to so for example the minimum value of 2 so we are looking at values starting from 2 itself or above 2. That is the minimum, meaning greater than or equal to. A variable, we have uh, less than or equal to. Not a variable, we have greater than or equal to. Then we also have the word exceed. So exceed greater than or equal to. Not exceeding less than or equal to. Lastly, we have must. So must going with it, greater than or equal to. So you must be attentive to these what, words and the symbols because you meet them as you progress with the linear programming in mathematics paper 2. Okay, so let us go back to our example. Alright, so under our example 1, question 1, Mr. Mlenga bakes two types of cakes for sale, type A and type B. Question 1, Roman numero 1, to satisfy his regular customers daily, he must bake at least 10 cakes of type A, and he must also bake at least 20 cakes of type B. Taking X to represent the number of cakes of type A, and Y to represent the number of cakes of type what, B. So, X is representing the number of cakes for type A. Write down two inequalities which satisfy the above conditions. So, sometimes they can give you this uh, information. Sometimes they can't give you, okay? So if they have not given you this information, you need first to find the variables or the letters to represent the items. So in this case, 
the items that we have are cakes. So they have told us that we rate X represent uh, types of cakes for A, then we rate Y to represent types of cakes for what? For B. So if you are presenting now, we'll be using X and Y for cakes A and B. So the first one for A, they want us to write the inquiry for, uh, it must bake at least 10 cakes of type A. So type A presented by retality X. Now, what in quite sign are we going to use? So this means first x equal to what? 10. Now, we don't need to write the equation. We need to write the inequality using the symbol. So this will be written x. Now, they have said at least. So at least you have said the inequality symbol is greater than or equal to what? 10. So this is our first inequality. Then for our second inequality for b, they have said it must bake at least 20 cakes of type B. So we are still using the same word at rest here, which is greater than or equal to. So type B for cakes presented by Reta Y, which is Y is equal to what? 20. So we need now to write the inequality, which is Y greater than or equal to 20. So we have answered our question uh, 1 Roman numeral 1. Let us now look at our question 1 Roman numeral 2. Right, so this is our Roman numeral 2. To avoid wastage, the total number of cakes you should bake per day must not exceed 70. Write another inequality which satisfies this condition. So, according to the information, they are saying uh, the total number. So, the total number we are saying if we have we have uh, cakes A and cakes what? B. So, when we combine these, we say A plus b okay it should not exceed d 70 here this word should not exceed 70 so this means that we are we know that x is representing uh cakes of type a and y is representing cakes of type what b so we are going to say when we combine it's x plus y then they have said must not exceed 70 not exceed. So, first, the equation is x plus y equal to 70. So, we now need to use the inequality, which will be x plus y. So, the inequality for not exceed, this is less than or equal to what? 70. So, this is our required inequality that satisfies this condition. So, I do hope that you are following. Let us now look at our example. So this is our example two right here. A mixed school can accommodate a maximum of 140 pupils. The number of girls must be at least 120, while the number of boys must exceed 150. So here, uh, they have not given us any letters. Formulate a mathematical model for the given information. So mathematical model, these are inequalities. So let's assign letters. So since we are looking at pupils, so we have boys and girls. So we are going to use X to present uh, boys. Then we are going to use Y to present girls. This is our first information. So from here, uh, they are saying a mixed school. So a mixed school is a school that consists of both boys and girls. Can accommodate a maximum of 140 pupils. So our first inequality we will say uh, boys plus girls should be equal to what? 440. So we we'll say x plus y. Now they are saying a maximum of 440, meaning that the number of pupils at this school should not go beyond this. So it's x plus y, where we say less than or equal to 440. This is our first inequality, okay? All right, so uh, I hope that it's clear. I hope that it's clear. So we have found our first inequality, which is uh, x, x plus y less than or equal to 440 because they said d a mixed school can accommodate a maximum of 140. So when you combine the boys and the girls, 
they should not exit uh, um, exceed more than 440. So let us move on. Uh, the number of girls must be at least 120. So to find our second inequality, eh? the number of girls. So girls are presented by y. So y is equal to 120. Now we need to come up with an inequality where we say y. So this inequality, at least, this is greater than or equal to 120. That is our answer. Okay? Alright, so let us now move on to our third inequality. So we continue with our reading. While the number of boys must exceed 150, okay? The number of boys must exceed 150. So boys is presented by x, which is equal to 150. Now using the inequality, the number of boys must exceed 150. So this exceed its greater than or equal to 150. So these are the required inequalities. Okay. So we have formulated our mathematical model for this given what information. So remember, you have to ensure that you know uh, those information that I've provided where you have the words and the symbols that present the inequalities. Then you'll be able to formulate the inequalities or the mathematical models. So this is just the foundation or now you can create such uh, inequalities or such mathematical models. Then you'll be required to, to plot on a sheet of graph paper. Okay. So let's see uh, if you can try this one. All right, so uh, let's see if you can uh, try this, okay? So try to answer this question. The question reads, a farmer wants to buy some hoys and shovels for use at his farm. He decides to buy at least five hoys and not more than 14 hoys and shovels altogether. The number of hoys should not be more than twice the number of shovels taking x to represent the number of hoys and y to represent the number of shovels write three inequalities which satisfy the above conditions so try to answer this one and see how you can answer it okay but i'm going to answer it then what you need to do is just to compare the the answers you post the video you see how you can answer it so, all right, in order for us to answer this question, first thing, you say a farmer wants to buy some hoys and shovels for use at his farm. It decides to buy at least five hoys. So, I've seen this information, at least five hoys. So, before I continue, I've been told that I rate X to represent what? Uh, hoys. Then, Y to represent the number of what? shovels this is the information that we have so our first inequality will be so uh it decides to buy at least five hoys which is presented by x so x is equal to five like this so x at least we know that the inequality symbol is greater than or equal to five we are now familiar then our second inequality and not more than 14 hoys and shovels all together. Meaning that when we combine x plus y equal to 14. Okay? When you combine the number of um, hoys and the number of shovels, they should not be more than 14. So we are going to say x plus y. Now, what inequality sign? are we going to to use all right so since they have told us that and not more than so not more than the inequality is less than or equal to 14 so it should not go beyond 14 okay so this is our second inequality okay 
This is our second inequality. Now, what is our third inequality? The number of hoys should not be more than twice the number of shovels. The number of hoys should not be no, should not be more than twice the number of shovels. Okay? So again, should not be more than, should not be more than, okay, this information right here. So, we know that uh, the number of voice, that is for our, our third inequality. The number of voice, so ho is presented by letter X, okay, should not be more than, okay, should not be more than, which is less than or equal to, should not be more than twice, twice means two should not be more than twice the number of shovels. So, shovels presented by letter Y. This is our third inequality. So, we have found our th inequalities, the first one, the second one, and the, the third one. So, this is how you can answer this question. Guys, so we've come to the end of our session. Thank you so much for watching. This has been your presenter. Mr. Mlenga, bye-bye.